My name is Janina Gavonkar and I'm the executive producer of this version of Don't Look Down. Is your head spinning? Is your heart racing? Is there fire in your veins? Are your bones burning? Is your skin yearning? Cause you're driving me insane. I heard a Martin Garrix song while I was on the treadmill. It was a rainy night, I remember that. And I had this idea that I could translate that entire piece to real instrumentation and if I could just get a hold of a drum core, it would be epic. <laughs> so I called John Denovi, Drum Corps International, and said, I'm in New York and I have this idea. He put me on the phone with Bob Jacobs, who runs the Jersey Surf. And as I was starting to get everything together, called all of the current, former, and future members of the Jersey Surf to be a part of this project. very specific idea of how I wanted this arrangement to go. So Bob introduced me to one hell of a talented arranger and musician. His name's Colin Bell. He's also from New Jersey. And I just gave him all of my brain droppings. And then he listened to all of it and took copious notes and cranked out an almost perfect arrangement in one night. <laughs> I like non-militant drones. <laughs> I have a friend of mine, his name is Christian Sands, and um, amongst many of the very cool things he's done in the technology world, he is now the CEO and founder of Skycatch. I called him and I said, I have this idea, I want to shoot this music video with drones. And he said, well, there's never been a drone itself in a music video. So then I was like, we must do it! <laughs> So I had less than a month to put it together. I had the idea on a weekend. The following weekend, I was doing the arrangement. The following weekend, we did the studio session. And then the following weekend after that, we shot the music video. There is no reason why we should have pulled this off. Because everybody just loves drum corps so much, and because it was so inspiring on the day, our hearts were so filled. I think it just made up for all of the challenges that we had. America is losing almost all of its funding in arts education. It's a really scary time. Had I not had the arts education that I did, I wouldn't have ended up even here. Having an arts education makes you better at whatever you're going to be. It doesn't mean you have to end up an artist. I ended up in a completely different field than what I trained in growing up. But I am so much stronger every day because I have a platform based on an arts education. Drum Corps is a really big part of my life right now, so I'm happy to be here for the experience. I'm here today because I love making music. Music's pretty much my life, you know, I can say that. It's unbelievable how fast that we put this thing together. The amount of human effort that it took to make this happen is so massive and so intricate. Why did I do this? Art for art's sake. I love drum corps. This is exactly how drum corps feels in my head. 